church accountability, taking congregations to task for not serving the community in their estimation as those churches should. They say something doesn't add up when a pastor makes a lot of money, drives a luxury car, and yet the people who live near his church are in poverty. <laughs> A scuffle inside the sanctuary after New Era Detroit protests during a worship service. Bro, let me go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Zeke, the leader of the group, offered no apologies for the dust up at Great Faith Ministry Saturday, only the reasoning behind it. This situation is bigger than just Wayne T. Jackson. This is about black churches and black pastors who live a lavish life on behalf of the people and they're not giving back to their community. He's referring to Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, the wealthy pastor that welcomed Donald Trump drives a Rolls Royce and lives in a mansion. Zeke was there for the offering Saturday. I mean, they started the offering at $1,000. And then they said, if you don't got $1,000, then do $300. And if you if you if you don't got if you don't got cash, then we got ATM machines. I don't understand that logic. I don't understand that way of thinking, and I don't understand that to be what religion is. New Era Detroit says the neighborhood surrounding Great Faith Ministries is by and large impoverished. This guy has networks, churches, fancy cars. You know what I mean? Million dollar houses, and it's babies in this community that's going without food at night. Somebody has to be frustrated about this enough to do something that will get people's attention. And that's 